Hello, I'm Nyoko, and I really like Pokemon and have been brainstorming my own little region for a while now. However, my Firestarter used to be a rabbit. Then Score Bunny came out. Currently, my region is based on California since that's where I live. However, I've heard rumors that the next real region might be based around here too. So I'm just going to jump in and show my ideas in case some of them come out as real Pokemon soon. And at least this time, I can say I posted it first. <laughs> wow, okay, long intro. Hope you guys didn't leave. On to the art. So let's start with my grass starter, as all Pokedex entry- No, not all Pokedex start with the- f <laughs> Victini, why must you ruin this? Anyway. <laughs> Um, I'll be showing the first stages of all the starters in this video, and I'd love to hear which one you like the best. So, I based this Pokemon on a mountain lion, which have many names, including cougars and pumas. Originally, this Pokemon was going to be an aardvark line, but that was before I had based this region on Kali. I still really want an aardvark Pokemon, I think aardvarks are cool. But yeah, <laughs> so all the starters are going to have one type during their first stage. We're not going to have any Bulbasaur situations where it's already a grass and poison type but they'll gain a secondary typing later. I'd love to see any guesses as to what they will become. This design is pretty simple and self-explanatory. I imagine this would be the most mischievous of all the starters. I made sure to style this differently from Litten too. Um, I made things more bulky and round. I didn't want to make it too similar since we already had like another cat starter, you know what I mean? Um, I also added foliage on their tails, paws, and chest, and I got inspiration from actual mountain lion cubs, which are adorable, because they have, they're just completely spotted. So I gave them two little spots on their flank, pretty sure that's the right word, if I'm remembering correctly. Uh, might just be related to horses, I'm remembering that from my little pony days. Anyway, <laughs> I also decided to name them Pounceper, which I thought was cute due to that, that, due to the fact that I made their Pokedex entry state. Pounceper like to hide in bushes and stalk anything that moves, playfully pouncing on whether it is... Please... Blah. Wow, I butchered that. <laughs> Pounceper like to hide in bushes and stalk anything that moves, playing... Playfully pouncing on it whether it's a candy wrapper or their trainer's foot. Wow, I swear I can say my own Pokedex entries anyway. <laughs> Color-wise, I kept to mostly earthy tones, which I contrasted in the shiny form. They made more of a red and fall-colored thing, but I stuck to basically browns and greens. <laughs> um, I'm also not the best with stats, so at best right now, I'm just going to say their highest is attack, and their ability is overgrow, as every grass starter is, and their hidden ability is tough claws. But yeah, here's Pouncebur. I hope you like them. <laughs> I think they turned out cute. And next up is my fire starter, based on a cow slash ox slash a tiny bit of an antelope. Uh, I'll get to that in a bit. <laughs> so if you're not familiar, there's a trend with fire starters where each one falls like... Wow, I completely forgot what I was saying. Anyway, there's a trend with fire starters where they're all basically based on a Chinese zodiac animal. And <laughs> that's why I first made my starter originally a rabbit, only, you know, score bunny exists now. But that's fine, Score Bunny's cool. <laughs> Hotstot keeps the future typing. I was planning for my rabbit too. Oh yeah, I named it Hotstot. <laughs> when I tried to look up what a baby ox was, it said it was called a stot. But it was more of like a musk ox. But I really liked Hotstot because it sounded like hot shot. Also, I didn't really like calf flame or anything like that. Uh, however, stot is also a way that some antelope jump and stuff. So... I incorporated that too, since Antelope Valley is a thing in California, even though antelopes are not in California, obviously. Um, overall, I made Hotstot pretty lanky, since the majority of ox-based fire starters that I was seeing were very bulky, and a lot of them were based on minotaurs, which was like super cool, but I wanted to do something different. So I made them very lanky. I also kept a pretty primary color scheme with a fiery body and blue accents. I also made the shiny more dairy cow colored. <laughs> with like black and whites, and I made the blue lighter on the shiny. Hotstot's Pokedex entry would say something like, Hotstot run around excitedly when they see their trainers, their tails whipping excitedly back, back and forth, which causes their small embers to fall accidentally. I am having really big trouble reading the uh, Pokedex entries I wrote. I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe I need sleep. Anyway, <laughs> I imagine Hotstot would be a speedy special attacker with the ability Blaze, as every Fire-type starter has, and the hidden ability Competitive. So yeah, here's Hotstot. 
Also, uh, my boyfriend is helping me pick the hidden abilities and stuff because I am horrible at this. But yeah. <laughs> uh, what do you guys think of Hotstot? Would, would you pick them as their starter? I think they're adorably awkward and pretty cute. <laughs> Lastly, we have my water type starter, Cubble, which is based on a grizzly bear cub and something else, but that's more apparent in its evolutions and it would be, give like a big hint to their future type, so I'll keep quiet for now. My water starter started as like... It was always going to be a little chubby bear cub, and I knew these are basic. <laughs> and I know these are basically children, and I shouldn't pick a favorite child, but Cubble is my favorite child. <laughs> okay, so overall, I made them very round with puffy cheeks and huge eyes. I gave them kind of a weird little claw hands, but that's on purpose for later. You'll see. Um, I gave them what looks like cute little dot eyebrows, and they're important for also later too. You'll see. <laughs> And I drew the extra pictures of them, like, when I was drawing them, I made them always somewhat aloof, and overall I tried to make them look like something you would just want to cuddle. <laughs> As for colors, I left it pretty simple with basically an entirely blue body with just darker and lighter spots. The one on their chest was inspired by real bear cubs, but honestly, it's mostly from what I was remembering from Brother Bear, because <laughs> I really like the, de the designs of the bears in that. I also gave the shiny a white look, kind of like albino grizzlies or polar bears. Um, Cubble's Pokedex entries would be something like, Cubble like to explore, but it's usually to find the best napping spots. Despite their lazy nature, they are protective of their trainers. <laughs> hey, I finally said one right. Anyway, I think. Anyway, I imagine Cubble would be slow but bulky, probably more physically than specially. And, like, probably a special attacker. Or maybe a mixed one. I don't know exactly. Cubble is the one I'm the most unsure about right now, stat-wise. I'll try to figure this out by the next video at the second stages. Their ability is Torrent, obviously, with the hidden ability, Regenerator. And yeah, <laughs> trying to get better at uh, the actual stat-wise of these Pokemon and not just drawing cute creatures. But that's Cubble. I hope you like them in the starters in this video. Which one would you choose? I hope you like this video and let me know if you want to see the, ev the evolutions and more fake mon I have ideas for. <laughs> I'm just excited to give this all out into like the universe. I don't know. They're all just been stirring around in my head and I have a lot of ideas that I just want to put out there. <laughs> I'd really appreciate it if you could like, subscribe, maybe tell a friend, and check out my Insta below. I'm going to be making a separate Insta page for my fake mon, but I haven't decided on a name for the region. Maybe I'll just go with the name the page Nyok Nyokomon. Uh, but yeah, anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next week. Peace.